Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the FreeSwitch directory structure. In the last two videos, we have learned how to install FreeSwitch from source code and how to do some post installation scripts. Today, we want to get familiar with the FreeSwitch directory structure. It means when we install FreeSwitch, you know that it will be uh, installed in the USR local FreeSwitch if you have installed from source code. There are some uh, folders and subdirectories in this folder in the USR local free switch that we want to get familiar with, especially about the conf directory. The conf directory includes all the configuration files and folders that we need to learn in order to be able to configure the free switch uh, and the features that we want. Also, we will learn about two very main, uh, two very important files that are vars.xml and freeswitch.xml. XML. They are XML files. We didn't learn XML yet, but it will be, it's very human readable. So, uh, of course, I will have a video for that, but uh, you don't have any problem if you open them and if you uh, read them, you will understand them. So, uh, we will open the configuration files and we will learn uh, what are they for and we will go through more details. So, let's get started. So let's start with the USR local free switch conf directory. And the first folder that we want to explore is the autoload underline configs. It contains configuration information for all the core modules, and these configuration files will be automatically loaded into the free switch. So let's see. I will log into the console. I'm already in the USR local free switch conf. I will go to autoload underline configs. So as you can see, it uh, contains the configuration files about modules. And also, these configuration files will be automatically loaded into the free switch uh, engine. So for example, um, we have the uh, configuration files about conference, or about console, or all, all different modules that we have. Uh, for example, we should have about Sophia. Yes, as we can see here is our SIP channel. So all the configuration files related to modules are in this autoload configs. What is next? Next one is the directory. Directory, it will hold all of the users allowed access to make calls via free switch. In another word, all the users, uh, usually SIP users, because we are usually using mostly uh, SIP users in training, uh, will be defined here. So let me go to the directory. Let me give you an example. When you're installing free switch, it will automatically configure from user 1000 to 1019. It means that I can have a soft phone or I can have a phone and register my phone as user 1000. These users are defined in this USR local free switch conf directory. Next one is the dial plan. The dial plan section is where you set up all call routings. Yeah, the name is very clear. When, we, when I registered my user, for example, 1000, I need to tell the system how to reach this 1000. This uh, type of uh, planning are in the dial plan folder. Let's take a look. We will go to the dial plan. Uh, and as you can see, we have uh, different files. One of them, for example, let's see the features. Features is about the uh, uh, actually uh, features that we have in the system. Default features, for example, like attended transfer or uh, different other features that, or for example, hold features. Uh, you don't need to be worried about this uh, content or. Uh, what do they mean? We will learn them, especially regular expressions that you can see here. We have a video for it and also the XML format. So you just need to know that this folder is for the dial plan. Next one is the jingle profiles. Uh, this is the module which handles XMPP, usually for uh, actually chat or XMPP protocol. Lang folder, it tells FreeSwitch in which language to say uh, like currency or other things, is our language actually um, directory. MRCP profiles, MRCP is used to allow free switch to use a speech recognition and text, uh, text to speech. So this is all the configuration about text to speech and speech recognition. 
C profiles. It's about uh, uh, configuration of C protocol or tells free switch how to talk SIP. Each profile has its own ports because in free switch, we will learn that when we are talking about the SIP profiles, that one free switch, for example, can listen on different ports for the internal users and for the external trunks. Chat plan, uh, here you set up routing rules for SMS and other chatting platforms. And IVR menus, that is about the IVR menu config directory. IVR is um, for iterative voice, uh, it stands for iterative voice response. And usually when you are calling, a, for example, a company, uh, it's, it's play a message, welcome, for example, to company XYZ, for sales press one, that's, we call it IVR or IVR menus. This is a, an overview of the config directory that we have in the USR local free switch conf. The most important ones usually is directory, dial plan, and C profiles we need to actually um, configure, configure them usually for the ones at least, and also the IVR menus if you have a lot of IVRs. Oh, okay, before we go to the important configuration files, here is a very useful uh, graph that I found in the uh, free switch wiki. As you can see, uh, free switch XML is a main config file that loads all of them. Of course, we will learn about this free switch XML and also vars.xml. But uh, the folders that we have, for example, the lang folder that was about the languages, the directory that was about the SIP users, as you can see, the 1000, 1019 is already there. Uh, SIP profiles that you can, uh, you will uh, configure about the uh, SIP profile for internal and external users. Uh, the dial plans that we have different uh, files on them, for example, like features, like public XML, default XML, that we will talk about them later. So this is an overview of the directory structure of the free switch. So now let's go to the two main configuration files. Uh, free switch main configuration files. The first one is the USR local free switch conf free switch.xml. This is the main configuration files. The name is not changed. So uh, whenever you are installing a free switch, you need to have this free switch.xml or your free switch won't work. Um, in other words, this is the main file that loads other files and will address to the other folders or the folders that we have just read about. It has different uh, sections. Let me go to the uh, file so that you can see. It has configuration sections that it will uh, tell the free switch to go and load all the configuration files in autoload underline configs, the one that we have just explored. Or for example, the dial plan section, that it will tell the free switch to look for the dial plans in the folder and uh, dial plan star.xml. Or for example, the directory of our users will be uh, listed down every users that we have in the directory slash star.xml. It's also about the phrases or different languages that you that you can see the pass here. So free switch XML is a very important file that you will tell the system where to look for the configuration files for the other configs, such as dial plan, configurations, uh, directories, phrases, etc. The next one is the var XML. This is a very important file as well that you need to know about that. Uh, the free switch files XMLs contain some variables used through the system. This is the first place you want to configure in a new installation, and why? Because here, uh, we have a very important variable, we call it default password. Whenever you install the system, uh, the free switch will install the default configurations and it have a default password. The first thing that you need to do, you need to change the default password in this file, in, this file, in the words.xml. Of course, we have other, uh, other uh, variables that are important and you need to take a look at them, but default password definitely you need to change. So let's take a look at it. Uh, I will go to the USR local free switch conf and then I will open the vars.xml. As you can see, uh, I have a variable here that is set default password 1234. So it's better to change this 1234 to any uh, secure password instead of 1234, of course. Uh, you can just change it and then uh, go to your FSCLI and reload XML. I think my free switch is not started here, so let me start my free switch first. If your free switch is already started, if, you, if your free switch service is already started, then you don't need to do system 
CTL but FS CLI and reload XML. So after I'm reloading the XML, then that default password will be changed. And uh, that's it. That's it about this video. Uh, we have talked about the free search directory structure and also two important files. My main goal was uh, uh, for you to get familiar with uh, directory structure and uh, where we need to look for into the next in the next videos. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you very much for your time and for the watching this.